Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. So welcome back on my video session today. So how are you guys doing out there today? Okay, so today I have this thing which I already showed you some unboxing video on. It's this. It's the BT Get broadband all around your home yeah and here he says high performance AV600 then broadband extender 600 kit and here I don't know if you see that he says works with all broadband providers can you see the bottom part? Brilliant power line performance from the broadband experts. Okay. And this is a sign. <laughs> oh no, I got your power line. It's so difficult to do. Okay. On that side. On this side. Okay. And you know, the top PT. This thing's really good, trust me. When you use it, you'll find out. And the bottom. There you go. And is that back? I don't know if you can see that. It says. It says, get past a reliable broadband wherever you need it most. BT? Uh, yeah. Want to connect devices to the, what is it? Want to connect devices to the internet? That's what that shows you. And this one's showing you Need high speed internet all over your home. Okay. Okay, that's that's what the two pictures are about, yeah. Then we go to the third picture. I think it's about game, I it? He goes, want great performance in reliability. Pretty good, isn't it? Look at that. That's the box anyway. So there you go. In this box, right, which I already took them out anyway, you get one of these broadband extender. That you get one of these. Okay. Look carefully what he says on there. Data. Earthnet power. Let's explain. I said BT again. Okay, nice logo. Power is when you put this on the mains and turn it on. Earthnet is when you use the RJ45 cable and it gets connected to your device. Data, the data between your this. And your computer, okay. Okay, data can mean something else as well, then. but this is sharing one to another broadband extender. You see, you get two of these. Okay. So three pin plug in. Okay. And the top you get that. Here your RJ45 cable goes in. And here is a I'll read it for you. 
it says link on the yeah I don't know if you can see it clearly look can you see that that button is used for if it doesn't connect not to your computer to this device because basically if you're using an Ethernet cable RJ45 cable this is a wired connection how do you get the wired connection well I'll let you know that okay. that's one of them the second one is over here look at that another one there's two of them you get two of them yeah it's pretty good Same thing again. It's actually two of them. Look. Now I'll show you them together. It's two. You get two of these. It's only for one device. Don't think it's for two different devices. It's not. You get two of these. Now, but you're thinking, but both of them, right? Have a RG45 port on there. Oh, sorry, the Ethernet port at the right at the top. Yeah, you know why? Because you get two RG45 cables. Look. There. One there. One there. Look. It's two there. Check it out. Look. Two cables. Now I'm gonna open this up for you guys. Can you open them? I'll tell you what to do. Don't get confused by this, alright? I probably won't have to show you all full setup. You'll get a full setup. Because it's very easy. Right, I'll take the first one, which is this one. Yeah? And what you do here, you connect the first one. Yeah? And you just plug in. There you go. So where does the other side of the cable go? Okay, where does it go? Oops. Come to the other side. This this supposed to be on the other side, isn't it? Look. Where does that go? That will go into your PC. Any device that you are. We'll go into that a bit later on. Okay, that one's done 50%. Now the second one. How does that work? Again, there's an Ethernet port at the bottom, top. We've got that cable again, haven't we? So we take off the wire again. Let me take it off. Yep. There you go. That one. And on this, right, again, you got this cable. And you connect it in. Look. Just like this. Look. look. Push in. There you go. Now, the question is where does this cable go? Where does it go? Because that one, the other one goes to the PC. This this side, right? You know your. Yeah. 
you know your thingy your routers and hubs you connect that behind that yeah you connect that behind that one of them goes to your windows pc and the other one will go to your router and hub okay that's how it works you connect it to port number one okay that's what you do it could be two three four doesn't matter if all of them are available you just go for port one okay This is very simple. Usually this works straight away out of the box. So connect this one to your hub and go for the you see there's four some of the hubs have four yellow ones on there. One, two, three, four. If all of them are available, go for number one. Just connect it to your hub. Okay. Obviously, I haven't got it yet. This technology, right, of BT Broadband Extender, yeah, is a wide connection. You will always will have stable connection. You'll never go up and down because it's a direct input, isn't it? It's just a wide connection. How is your wide connection? It's very simple because you connect one of them to your hub and then you connect it to the mains and you turn the switch on turn the switch on okay that's all you do once you've done that I will show you this one how this one is done because my hub is all the way downstairs you see and I can't show you that can I What you do on your PC, right? This is a Progestor Stylistic Q704 device, right? Just look at this carefully. Yeah. And then you connect it to your keyboard. And you look for the Ethernet port, which is this one. Yeah. This one. Now this cable, one of the uh, beauty board extender I've got, it goes in here, just like this, watch this, watch, ready, yeah, it's plugged in, that's it, it's plugged in. Once you've connected one of them, one of them, yeah, to the mains, you put the switch on. Okay, connect this to your mains and turn the switch on. That's it. So, what I'm going to do now. I will connect this thing. Okay. Don't worry, it's not too difficult. You don't need to watch all this. So I'm just going to put it on a mains and turn the switch on. That's all. Who can't do that? Anybody could do that. Yeah. That's it. Okay. 
Okay, just hold on. So I'll get this thing connected. Right. Now, this one's connected to the mains and to the PC. And to the PC, not and. And to the PC. Yeah? You do not turn on the switch right now. Yeah? So just get this connected to the mains. Don't turn the switch on yet. But just connect this to the PC. Okay? Now the other one, this one, this will be connected to your mains, right? Once you connect this to the mains, means you put this on your router and hub to put number one and then you will turn on the switch on this one yeah you will see three lights as soon as you see three lights go for the second one I will show you that one don't worry so let me go and plug this to my hub I'll be back in a second Okay, right. So now that one's connected to the hub and to the mains. So I turn the switch on now. Okay. So with this one, right? So what do you do with this one, right? You turn this switch on as well. Before we turn the switch on, I will show you what's the status on this device. Okay, take a look. That one. Can you see? It's around globe, isn't it? The internet's not connected yet. You see that? Because it's not on. This is, a, this is a wired network. This is amazing. This is alright. A wired network right upstairs. Now I'm going to turn it on. You put, you put the switch on now. Put the switch on. The lights will come on. That's it. Look at that. 
It's on. Look at that. That was like a globe, wasn't it? It's on. The internet's on now. Amazing, isn't it? Now, now I can prove it to you that the internet works upstairs. This is a wired connection. Why is this a wired connection? Because downstairs, I put the first BT broadband extender to the hub. That's why it makes a wired connection. And then with the other one, the one which is connected to the PC, it brings the connection to the second one, the one I'm sitting right now. Is that amazing? With these two adapters, it gives you the, it gives from the downstairs which one is connected to the hub data to the one which is upstairs in my room and you get a wired network connection anyway so here we go now i don't know if you can see that hold on let me see can you see i don't know okay we'll just put the google chrome one here you go Hold on, here you come over there. You're gonna get real internet on, you know, watch. See that? You could tell when it says Gmail, it means it's connected to the internet. So I'm not gonna go on that. Okay, sorry, flashy. Now, as you can see, I'm really doing it. Look, Amazon. Press enter. Look at that. Works like a dream, doesn't it? And then, because this screen wouldn't come if it wasn't connected to the internet, would it? You want to show this page? Look, eBay. Look at that. Can show you Corey's PC World. You can see the you can see the browser now. We're kidding. Check it out. Check it out. Epic deals. Accept all cookies, and you can go to all. You can go to TV and audio. Speaker high wi Uh, hold on. Hi, boy. Oh, check it out. KVC. Panasonic makes the best hi fi systems, in my opinion. No one can beat them. Doesn't matter what people say. Yeah, look at this Panasonic one, man. Panasonic is a dream, isn't it? Look at that. Panasonic makes quite a lot of mega sound party hi fi systems. The higher the price, the better they are. Check it out. The internet works like a dream. So this is from the for just to start the Q seven zero tablet and connect it to the keyboard. I'll show you the keyboard as well. Look. So the device like this here. Fujitsu, look at that. Very nice. P 
Beautiful. Yeah. Now what I'm going to show you another thing you can connect it to. Now this is a full laptop experience that you can use a wired network or upstairs. Wherever you put this plug, it will work. You know why? Because it's a wired connection. The second, the first one's got wired, which is connected to the hub. The second one's got wired, which gets connected to your PC. Can you see how it works? This thing's really incredible. So you could take this to. Now, if that's downstairs, you leave that downstairs connected to the hub. But you can take this. Uh, broadband extender, the second one, the second one to any of your rooms because it just acts like a wired connection. Think about this when you're downstairs with your laptop, when you use the RJ45 cable connected to the hub to your laptop, what happens? It gets connected instantly. That's what this thing's doing, but it's using two adapters to do it because it gives you high performance technology. Okay, but and it gives you the connection to right to your room. That's how PT actually done this thing. It's really good because it actually works really well. Now I'm going to show you another thing that you can connect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off. Let's just turn this off. There you go. Okay. So take it off from here. Okay. And take the cable off. So I'm going to take both of them off, yeah? Oh damn, it's a bit stuck. I don't know what happened. Oh no. He usually does that. Hold on. Oh no. Yeah, it's out now. It's a bit faulty this port on this stupid thing. On this keyboard. Right. Let's move that. Before we move that, right. Okay, what you do here, you need to take it off. Yeah, the switch there. Yeah, I'm gonna just put it out. There you go, come on. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect it to the port replicator. Port replicator is one of these. Watch this properly, poor operator. Yeah, the device goes in this. Yeah, and adapter goes here. Okay, and here you got. Two USB ports, and at the back, you get a few more ports. You get two USB ports more, VGA, HDMI, Ethernet. See that? That's what we just created. It's air vent or something. Incredible, isn't it? So. First 
first up I would connect right this first I will connect that first it's the AC adapter isn't it sorry I showed you let's lift this you connect it here Yeah, yeah, you connect it here. That's it, it's connected. Yeah, you connect that there, and then this cable. Okay, it goes here. There. Oh, wait, I think you can see that. There. Right in there. Wicked stuff. Amazing. Yeah? And these two things are connected. The power and the Ethernet. What's next? Yes. You put that in a pole levocator. Basically, a pole levocator turns the produced device into a desktop PC. You connect this to your desktop PC, that's what this thing's for, really. Originally, that's why we just to make this thing. A lot of manufacturers do anyway. But the just to one is very high performance, by the way. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Again, I will see everything was powered up. I just connected it straight away, and look at this. Voila. Look. This one. It's connected to our network again. You see that? Awesome, isn't it? Right. Honestly, this is a real desktop PC accessory. Yeah? What I'm going to show you now is something really amazing. This is the uh, just a keyboard. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Why is a bit tangled? Right. Thing's crazy. It's really good this beauty broadband extender. I like it lots. What you need to do now, right? You need to you know the port replicator? There was two USB ports at the back, wasn't there? You need to connect the mouse and keyboard. This is a thing that needs to be powered from the mains as well. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, otherwise it wouldn't work. You have to power this from the mains because it acts like a desktop. This poor replicator does. All right. Think think of this as your. I think with ports, also your desktop hardware will be in that registered device. We are coming to an end now. Your next video will be looking at the monitor. Yeah?
Rồi. This is for the mouse. Okay. So I'm just gonna move this to the side. So cool this is. So cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn some of it. If you look here. There's still a USB ports. I would connect the mouse right at the front. Makes it convenient. Here. Look it. Here. There you go. You're thinking that why is it all sound? Oh me. No bubble volume on me. <laughs> Let's hear that sound again, yeah? Did you hear that? It's one, this volume 100 now, okay? Push in. Check it out. Mouse connected. Now the keyboard. This is the keyboard on. So what you do here? Get underneath. Put it here. Yeah. There you go. Mouse and keyboard connected in a professional manner. That's how you will do on a PC. This device is really good. I think this thing was released back in 2014. You know what? This thing is still very high performance. After so many years, this thing. It's not it's still not out of date, is it? <laughs> right. Now. But this is about. We know we got. The network, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Wait, but look. It's a mouse. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. I'm moving it with my. Ah, look. The mouse. The privilege here. Look, look at that. Look. Look at that. I'm actually moving it. Look at that. I'm going to take it to the screen. Look. Look. Now, I can go back on Google Chrome. Check it out! Also, with the poor MK tab, the device is like tilted back, isn't it? Because they don't have that uh, tilt mechanism going forward and backward with the <laughs> poor replicators. It's really good when you use it. It just looks inconvenient when you're looking at it, but the thing is really good. The poor replicator is an experience. I mean, you can use the poor replicator like this as well with a full, you know, mouse, keyboard. And the screen, look at this, but you can use it like that. But originally, the poor replicators, right? They are made for a desktop PC high performance system. Yeah, he acts like a real desktop PC. Now, I'm gonna show you. Look, I can show you. Curry, sorry, then sorry to type. Click away. Look at that. And now I can go to TV audio. Uh, usual. Go to my systems. 
Here yeah, you got loads of brands. Look, Panasonic is the best. So just click on Panasonic. I mean, one of the best Panasonic Hi-Fi system is this one. See this? It's completely out of stock, you know. These are all the guys. Ah, there's three of them. Two hundred nine The the one it is uh, amazing is this one. This one. Look at this. Panasonic mark. Have a system. I actually own one of these. This is a very powerful high fi system from Panasonic. It's a, a Bluetooth mega sound party one. This is a really really incredible. It's got some incredible sounds. So there you go, really good. And I even can show you another site which I can type away for you. Yeah, it's a keyboard. Those are the mouse. Jitsu mouse. And then here we got the Jitsu keyboard. Everything for Jitsu, for Jitsu by the way. Jitsu is one of the best companies around. Pulling pieces up. Quickly. We just do Q704 tablet. We just do port replicator. Just do mouse. We just do keyboard. Okay. Everything goes for just two. Incredible. It's one of the most awesome company for PCs. You want to be problems with these PCs? Considering the hardware the Fujitsu started Q704 tablet has, you might not think it's not high hardware, but you know what? This thing runs a very high performance. It's very, very good. Do you not believe anybody putting you down saying all this nonsense, saying all sorts of silly things about it? This thing is really good. Use this thing, you turn, you'll, you'll have a full PC, man. Yeah, it's it's incredible. It's a bit heavy, I would say. Because what what Fujitsu did, they made it a bit heavy. The the Fujitsu device was a bit heavy. And the keyboard was heavy. I think the reason for that, making it heavy, because heavier things, yeah, they don't break so easily, do they? Because Fujitsu um, always makes things that don't break easily. They like to do these things with their smartphones and tablets, you see. And that's why, even this is a produced to tablet, right? This gives you a very strong performance, like a PC. Yeah, I'm not kidding on that. This thing is amazing. Right. Now things get more interesting. As I said, this thing, right? It's like a desktop PC. But to make your desktop PC, yeah, you need to have a monitor. And large mouse and keyboards, aren't you? Which I just showed you. On the screen, I just used a large mouse and keyboard. But what about the bigger displays? Like a desktop PC. Here we go. Let's take this off again. Excellent. Now the problem with here is that if I use a large display, 
would I able to um, connect the internet? I think that will be a bit troublesome. Yeah, because the device, right, well, on its own doesn't have the Ethernet port, but we won't have much of a trouble in a way because we use a port replicator for connecting to monitors. Yeah, as I already showed you, there's a VGA. Now on the port replicator, we got the AC adapter, the Ethernet. It's fully powered with power and network. All right. What you do now? I can set up the monitor here. Okay. This is an incredible experience. So <laughs> okay, I think I've got um, I can't put the full monitor in there. Don't worry about that. This is what the monitor looks like anyway. Yeah? This is a Bujisti monitor as well. Look. That light will come out just because it's powered up. It's not connected to the PC yet, yeah? Okay. And now, you got a full setup. You're going to see a full setup now. Full PC. This is a full PC. Mouse, keyboard, monitor, and the hardware, which is a just to stylistic, yeah? Yeah. Get it together. So the network is not working yet, means we are not connected, right? Oh, it wasn't even placed inside it, that's why, hold on. Yeah, Work, works. Now it's connected to the internet once again, but it's not on the display. Look, the screen's still blank. You know what? You need know, HDMI cable. What you need to do now, you need to connect to the VGA cable. Just take 
di solito. this out. Okay, quickly. Right. What do you do now? Behind the port replicator, as I already told you, you need to connect it behind, didn't you? Remember? And on the behind, there's a VGA port. So I'm going to quickly do that because it's hard to turn around too much. Okay. Yeah, it's on the monitor now. This is a full experience right with everything all internet all wired internet check it out man all wild internet look at this no gimmicks here All right. What happens here? Automatically, it does duplicate display. When you connect it, the VGA from the port replicator to the monitor. So I will show you every all the setup. Yeah. Fujitsu. Start with Q on zero volt tablet. Connected to produce a start with Q seven zero four power replicator. Check it out. Now look at that. Just to monitor. You can see the display on it now, can't you? Look. Incredible, isn't it? And here. Hold on. Just a mouse. Just a keyboard. All experience. You guys think? This is amazing. Now I can use the mouse as well. Look, I could use Google Chrome now. Once again, blue curries again. Do televisions, all televisions. Again, we can do Panasonic. Take a look. Check it out. Cool, isn't it? Look at that. Panasonic made one of the most amazing television ever. I don't think Corey's actually owns that. 
right now these are the previous models that Panasonic made because that TV costs more than these these prices Okay, we can do eBuyer. Yeah, I'll type that again. So you think I'm uh, kidding with you or something? Yeah, eBuyer. It's a good shop, online shop. Internet man, it's connected to the internet. Look at that. Word network. Very fast, isn't it? Look at that. Look how quickly it moves. The better your internet speed is, the quicker it works on your device. These are very fast, fast devices, you know, the Vajistus are. Yeah. But a Vegas 2 device can't run it fast if your network's running slow, is it? It will run the system slow. Okay. So again, I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type Vegas 2. This for just to use your promo. Check it out. So these are the Vegas systems that they sell. Wow, they sell quite a number of Vegas systems. Very surprised. Check it out. I do like the Vegas to use promo the D series, but the best one I think was D nine five eight. Yeah, they don't own that one. But instead, they got this one. That would be good anyway. These are very nice, Tony. Check it out. It's really nice. This one. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, this is the i5 core one. The one I was talking about, the i7 core. I don't think they've got, I don't know why. Here you go, the internet works really, really good. So, what do you guys think? So, this is all about the BT broadband. So, not, not bad after all. So I hope you guys liked my video today. So it's given you full knowledge what you can expect from it. You can either use the Vigisto with the keyboard, like a Vigisto laptop. You can use the Vigisto device with a port applicator and the Vigisto device will act like a display or you can connect your Fujitsu device with the port replicator, mouse, keyboard, VGA cab cable, and connect it to Fujitsu monitors. And use the network with all these kind of styles. So the BT broadband and Fujitsu makes a great combination and it gives you a good network. So I hope you guys like my video today. Give your likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.